is up you guys this is gas and we're coming back and playing some boom beats now a lot of you guys have requested that i play this again so i'm going to show you the last parts of the war that me and the other youtubers did while we were in finland so if you check it out this is master off coming in and he's using the rocket dudes with the uh, gatling gun men <laughs> i just got to figure out these names of these characters if I could say that, the, the Gatling gun guy is like the equivalent to a hog rider. He's just using a machine weapon. And uh, those are actually women with those rocket launchers. Oh my gosh. My fault. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you dudes. So, um, gosh, I wish I could see the... Um, it's like on Clash of Clans, you can see the replays. Uh, what they have, the troops they have left over in their army comp. Uh, but with this, you just see the troops on the field. And... Um, not really much. I, ha I have a compass and that's about it. But uh, yeah, so he's using uh, these two squads going in and taking out these looks like mortars. And I can't, I just can't believe the range of these weapons. Uh, if you play Clash of Clans, you'll know like the range is not that far. But on here, it seems like you know you could be half a map away and they could still get you. So it doesn't look like, or actually it looks like he pulled his troops over to the side down here so he can take out the main power source right, right here. But the range of these weapons are so far, it just decide, they take them out. Okay, so we got Chief Peck coming up next. And gosh, where is he? Now I'm coming in late. Oh, okay, he's using the uh, Warriors it looks like and he's working his way around. Now... The reason I believe that they are doing this is because if you can get the rest of these things out here, these uh, uh, building structures on the side, you're still getting your percentage up. And so that's what he's doing. He's taking everything out on the back out here, and that should help the other teammates that come in from behind him uh, to finish off the base. And so uh, these warriors do a pretty good job of just destroying stuff if you can keep them alive. And so dang, he's at the far back. I can't even zoom out over there. <laughs> Everything's down here. All the weapons. Are, he's gonna have a hard time getting the rest of these weapons once he's done. Okay, so let's see if we can find somebody else. Uh, Nick at night. Nick at night. Let's see what he's doing. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Was it Chief Pat or was this Nick at night? Maybe it was both. <laughs> Is that Chief Pat? Okay, but these guys are still working their way around. I don't think they I don't think they'll be able to get to the middle. Just cause um, the way these bases are, they're really strong. Let's see what he can do though. Okay, dang, and the range is already going. These uh troops are getting hit on already. Whoa, I think that was a misplace. That was a misfire. I think that was a shockwave to stun the weapons but okay yeah now oh wait 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 it was a healing spell okay it was a healing spell okay now he's gonna start attacking the middle but he might not be able to do it he's just getting pounded by these weapons and they're gonna take out his troops all right yeah see you gotta take out those weapons first okay so it's my turn now i got my tanks and my medics and the base is cleared up enough so that I can take out this power cell right here. It was left over, I believe, by Nick at night. They uh, took out most of the base for me so I can go in. Dang, I just lost a tank. Yeah, see, I'm using these rockets, these range fire weapons to do a little bit more damage onto the power cell in the middle right here. And my medics are just going to heal up my tank so that uh, they won't die off. But I think this one might go. Dang, that that tower is really strong. My medics change course and they go over here to where the war isn't happening. <laughs> My poor tanks. Hopefully they can survive. Okay. Now once they're done with this, they should relocate or maybe not. <laughs> well, at least we got one tank coming over. Okay, so my medics are going to heal that one, and this main, oh, here we go, okay, now they're coming. This main source is about to go down, as soon as they all just start teaming up on it, 
This should be a case closed. Victory, yes. Here we go. Unleash. Boom. Nothing to stand in my way now. We win. Ah. Okay, so... I don't see why these guys aren't doing too much damage. This might be a while. <laughs> this might be a while. I don't think uh, I can fast forward either. Make it faster so that they do more damage. That should be like a buff. If you could uh, throw something on your troops so that it makes their increase, you know, their damage increase, kind of like a rage spill. I'm not sure if they have that yet, but if they don't, then that would be great. For me, at least. Okay, so this thing's just about done. And when you when you destroy this thing, this uh, main source right here, then everything dies. Uh, you get to destroy everything at once. It's just this thing has so much uh, hit points on it, it takes a while for it to go down. But I believe we got it. Everything else gets the gun out of the way, and it's a uh, done deal. Okay, you guys, so that was me and the other YouTubers playing This Means War, these uh, task forces, clan wars, slash gameplays against the maps. So you guys, thank you for watching. This is Gasson playing some Boom Beach, and I will see you next time. Gasson out.